She's like, Mom, seriously? What the F? Can you put me back down on this bed? You look really pretty on camera in this light, Dolly Bolly. You look so pretty. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's Friday Favorites video is focused on foundations. Now every time I do a new Tester Tuesday video that features a new foundation, I get tons of questions comparing it to other foundations, which one do I like better? My foundation reviews are based on my skin type, and I have normal to dry skin with an oily nose and forehead, occasionally my cheeks. I don't have tons of breakouts, but I do have sensitive skin, and I do suffer from dry patches and eczema if I'm not careful. So keep those things in mind. If you're severely oily, I always try to give you a good idea in my Tester Tuesday videos or foundation reviews of whether or not this would be better for oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, mature skin, young skin. I get so many questions. I'm going to go through all of my favorite foundations in my collection and why they're my favorite and why you might want to consider it because a lot of the times you guys are asking me if I like one foundation versus another and they're completely different formulas. I would, I love them both but for different reasons and I wear them for different reasons and obviously I have way too much foundation because I buy them to review for you guys and I'm on YouTube so hoarding makeup kind of comes with the territory unfortunately you do not need all this foundation you do not need every foundation I test out or talk about my reviews are to help you narrow down what you should spend your money on based on your needs your lifestyle and your skin type so that being said let's move in to the foundations my holy grail foundations foundations I have loved for more than a year foundations that are not new launches by couldn't buy any other foundations ever again. One, I would cry. These would be the two that I would want in my collection. The Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. This is the most versatile foundation out there. You can have anything from a light coverage, build it up to a medium coverage, or build it up to a full coverage. Depending who you talk to, this is 80% water and pigment. It is water resistant, almost waterproof, depending how much you rub and towel off. It is super, super lightweight. It looks like skin. It feels amazing on the skin. Great product to have in your kit. It's a great product to own for all skin types. I have a full video on this baby, which I will link in the description box below if you want an in-depth review completely based on this foundation. Now, there is a rumor that this is being discontinued. No, it is not being discontinued. It is being re packaged and they are going to expand the line. This is a very medium based foundation right now so they're adding lighter and darker shades to the product line which is really really great if you are having trouble finding a match for you. Now I'm in the shade number 32. The link to the video and to the product will be in the description box below as well as all of the other foundations I'm going to talk about but this is a holy grail of mine. DMK Cosmetics Foundation. This is a very hard one to get your hands on if you're outside of LA. I have been loving this for about two or three years now. It is a cream based foundation. Again, very versatile, but this foundation will heal your skin. When I have eczema, when I have any rashes, any allergic reactions or major breakouts, this is what I turn to because it has skincare properties in it. It's very good for sensitive skin. It's very good for acne prone skin. I discovered this on set when I was acting. The makeup artist used it on a girl who had horrible, horrible acne and through the 14 day shoot, it has heal it healed her skin. I watched her skin heal. That is when I ran out and bought this. I went to Europe. This was the only foundation I brought with me or only face product I brought with me because you can wear it very light, you can build it up to medium, and you can build it up to a full coverage. Again, I have a full review video on this product because you do need to dampen the sponge to apply it. It's easy to travel with because it's cream, and the little refills for if you're a makeup artist is great. I'm gonna move into medium coverage foundation now. Last two were my holy grails, hands down, can't live without. These products are good, but you know, if 
the apocalypse happened and I couldn't get my hands on it, it's okay if I have the other two. The two I want to talk to you about is the new ones from Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in liquid and in the stick formula. I have first impression tested Tuesday videos on both foundations. I will link in the description box below. These are medium coverage foundations. They are not full coverage and they're not light coverage. They are medium coverage. What is so special about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD is it looks amazing on skin. It's going to to even everything out and if you've got a camera in your face like this or even as close as I am now with lights and you're filming in HD or full HD which is 4k now it's, it's crazy like you could see the hair follicles on my face it's going to look seamless and flawless and it blends beautifully. This will take a little bit more effort to blend. It does take a little bit more um, precision, so it's not as foolproof as the face and body from Makeup Forever, but I love, love, love how this looks because it looks like skin, it looks beautiful in photography, it looks beautiful on camera, and it blends so seamlessly. Some people are saying it looks cakey. If it looks cakey, it's because you're wearing too much. Want to put it on and kind of just buff it in and blend it in and then step back. Try doing just a section of your face at a time. This is a new way of applying foundation for most of you guys because it's not about packing it on and getting a full coverage. It's a medium coverage that looks like skin, so you're not really gonna see the foundation on you and by the time you do, you're wearing too much. So just be aware of that when you're buying this. You're going to get more coverage with the stick formula versus the liquid formula. If you watch my Tester Tuesday videos comparing the two, you'll be able to see that. And I do like the stick formula for travel and I do like it for a little bit more coverage. I also heard a lot of the girls from Makeup Forever using the face and body as a primer for all their foundations and then putting this one over and it looks beautiful together. This shade's actually kind of light for me, I think, but compared to this one, like what the? What is going on? Anyways, yeah, so if you have both of these, if you're a huge fan of Makeup Forever, it's a great combination to use together as well. Another medium coverage foundation that's a newer launch is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. A lot of you guys ask me, do I like this or the Ultra HD more? It's really hard to compare because this one is more of a traditional formulation. It has coconut water in it, it's very hydrating, and it's a great hydrating foundation for all skin types. Now if you're severely oily, you will need a lot more powder and a really good mattifying primer compared to someone who's more normal to dry skin, and you're going to be able to see the product on your skin a little bit it's still going to look nice neither one has SPF it's really just personal preference moving into some full coverage foundations the two new full coverage foundations that I do like and that I kept in my collection and reach for consistently is the Laura Mercier silk cream moisturizing photo edition uh, foundation and then the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation both of which I have a first impression tested Tuesday video on so I'm not going to go too much in depth both are full coverage what I love about this one is that it separates you from oily skin to dry skin clearly I have the dry formula this is the hydrating formula I love the packaging for traveling however now that it's been hotter and my skin hasn't been as dry this tends to make me a little look too greasy towards the end of the day but if you have mature skin and you suffer from dry skin this is a great great full coverage but still looking natural foundation I'm not a type of girl who likes full coverage foundations and that looks like you're wearing a ton of makeup so even if I'm doing full coverage I want it to look natural and still look like skin and this does that now for the Marc Jacobs remarkable one I recently reviewed this I love this I love this more than my Laura Mercier currently for the reason that it is hydrating but it doesn't let me look oily at the end of the day it's super super lightweight but full coverage it's almost like a serum foundation but just not quite as serumy as a lot of the other serum foundations I have tried and I've tried them all pretty much at this point especially in the high-end market I love the coverage I love the way it looks I love the way it lasts it's super long-lasting it doesn't crease into my dry areas or into my pores a lot of serum foundations can do that so I do like this more than the Dior serum or the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation because it's easier to apply now two random kind of throw-ins uh, if you watched my last tester Tuesday video from this week is the Tom Ford traceless perfecting foundation super expensive it's about $80 retail price and but the packaging is to die for it's what I'm wearing today very lightweight foundation super super natural finish not for oily skin girls 
but great for mature skin and great for normal skin. Great for combination skin too. I just really, really like the way it looks on me because it gives me that glow and that dewiness and it's super lightweight. It feels great on my my pores and it's, you know, I own it so I might as well use it. It cost me $80. It's, it's pricey. Um, but I didn't really talk about any super lightweight foundations specifically that isn't buildable. So this one you can maybe build to medium, but it really is a lightweight foundation. And I thought I'd throw this in there. I didn't really talk about powder foundations because powder foundations don't really work that great for dry skin, so I haven't been wearing a lot of it. However, the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in Illuminate is amazing if you have mature skin or dry skin, but you want a powder foundation. It's one of the rare powder foundations that does not look like powder foundation. It gives you a full coverage. It wears beautifully all day. And if you have oily skin, go with the original, which I used to really, really love when I had combination oily skin. I also really like the NARS powder foundation, but um, it's this one's a little bit more affordable and you get more bang for your buck. I hope it answers some of the questions I get a lot or some of the questions you might be having after watching all these foundation review videos of mine. I love finding foundations and reviewing them for you but like I said it doesn't mean you have to go out and buy every single one I do these videos to help you narrow down which ones to try which ones to spend your money on based on what you need and based on your skin type I really appreciate you guys watching don't forget to check out my last video over here you can just click over there if you're watching on a computer or you can click in the little uh, icon above my head where the little cards flare up and you can see all the videos I recommend you watching check out all of the product links as well as the coordinating in-depth review videos in the description box below. I link them all for you. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel more than you know. And subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, and Twitter. And I have a Facebook account all over here. It's always at Serene Wu, or you can search Dress Yourself Happy, or my name, Serene Wu. I really enjoy doing these for you guys, so let me know in the comments section your thoughts. Are there foundations you want me to try out that's coming out? Let me know because I get a lot of my information from you guys and I get a lot of my video ideas from your requests. So I love this community we have built. Don't forget to come back on Sunday for Sundays with Serene Vlog and there might be a 30,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you check back on Sunday at 9 a.m. for that video. And Dolly, do you want to say bye? <laughs> She always is sleeping. Look at her tongue. She's like, Mom, seriously? What the F? Can you put me back down on this bed? You look really pretty on camera in this light, Dolly Bolly. You look so pretty. Don't you look so pretty? Do you want some foundation? I don't think you need any foundation because you're just so gorgeous. Cooper didn't get to say hi to you guys last time, so he's going to say hi. You look bleached out in the lighting. You look very, very white. You are white, but you look even whiter in this camera. Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say hi to everyone? Or do you want to go hide under the blanket again? Okay guys, until next time, I will see you. Bye. I'm going to be talking about my favorite foundations in the last forever. <laughs> Un my hair is just not pretty today. I also really like the NARS 